welcome back. This is part two of Let's Play Battle of Olympus. And I'm not sure if we talked to her. Uh, yeah, because guy has fallen asleep. Alright, uh, whoa! Pay attention. And we finally picked up an olive. Here's another one. Um, you pick up items like that just by uh, ducking on them. So just walk over to it and hit down. The shield of Athena is endowed with the power to repel your enemy's weapons. Alright. So as I mentioned in the first video, um, I, I own this game. I, well, I used to own this game, I still do, but it's not like I, uh, <laughs> it's not like I regularly play it. So, um... I'm gonna do my best to, to, uh, you know, show you guys the better parts. Well, I'm gonna try to show the whole thing, but I'm gonna show you why this game kicks so much ass. Why, I'm gonna show you why I, uh, requested it. Um, why I play it. Uh, I've heard that there is a god in... Pythia, Pythia, that makes wonderful weapons. All right. Holy crap. Hello. There may be a crystal ball somewhere that enables you to see invisible things. And yeah, um, all of these, all of these uh, clues or hints whatever you want to call them naturally they do matter but um I'm just talking to these people to show you guys what they say uh, my name is Kelios Kelios are you searching for the nymph I could tell you where she is if you prove <laughs> if you prove to me that you're um okay not really sure how we prove our worth to that guy, or prove our name, I guess. But we'll deal with that later. Um, you might have just heard a different sound effect. Damn, these scorpions are kicking my ass! Um, this second fountain right here, right now we're in the city of Athens. And this second fountain right here, if you kneel in front of it, it will recharge your health. But it only works once per, uh, you know, visit to this screen. So, I'm sure that if I would leave right now and come back and kneel in front of it, it would fill up my health. And my health is actually up there the thing on the top left being drained next to the map um, these little lightning bolt almost shaped things the flashing things in front of me those are pieces of health so you know you collect them by kneeling over them but those are just little pieces of health there's another one uh, alright and we made it to who is this? Athena? I don't know. Made it to another temple. Welcome. Um, I am Athena, the goddess of wisdom and war. I'll give you a shield to protect you from the attack of monsters. And yeah, uh, so we already have a shield, sorta. But nothing there. You just kneel on it, and now we got a shield. And that's an item that just automatically equips. As you can see that, you know, I can't go and select it. So it's already there. And, uh... Oh, you know what, while we're here... This game had a ridiculous code system. And here, if you kneel and talk to a god when you're not supposed... Well, hear the word of the gods, don't forget it. Yeah, that's my password. V-U-6-P... 
exclamation point A R C J four four seven six. Yeah, um, this was this was definitely one of those bad password system games. You had four lines, uppercase, lowercase. Um, yeah, it it was pretty bad. Plus, you had exclamation points and numbers and. And yeah, let's face it, my handwriting isn't isn't exactly uh, <laughs> beautiful. I don't know. All right, so I don't believe any of these people will be saying anything different. So let's just move out. And um. Okay, I mentioned earlier that those are olives, which are up in the top right, and um, there's no life system or, you know, game overs or anything like that. What happens is you lose, oh, you lose half of your olives. So right now it doesn't really matter at all because we only have 15, but um, and plus we're not really collecting them right now. But, um, yeah, if you die, you lose half of your olives, and because we just got this shield, now I can deflect those, uh, spears. And I'm going the wrong way right now, but I just wanted to show you guys something. Come on. Alright, so, there's a big stone monster right here. And I'm guessing that's Gaia, but we don't have the equipment to do anything right now, you see? You might be able to notice the music change, but, uh, so that's like boss battle music. But this game's pretty open-ended in, in the sense that, uh, you know, well, for instance, we can go hang out at this boss fight. But we, we don't, you know, we're unable to do anything. So, you know, hopefully we'll figure out how to take care of that later. Haha, <laughs> little prick. Oh, shit. What am I doing? <laughs> Every time I look at the clock, I get... Uh, Alright, so we have just picked up a shield, and, um, damn, and we're getting our ass handed to us. Um, Alright, so, previously, somebody mentioned that their child was kidnapped, and I believe it's this house, let's see, well, this is a new house. Oh, you're, um, my child was kidnapped by the vampire Lamia. If you can help me, I'll give you this staff. Just give it to me now, and then I'll help you. Alright, um, well, we're just about running out of time. Let's see if I can get a little bit of health here, maybe. Alright, that helps. So, now we're gonna... Now we're gonna make a save. Because we got a... Oh, shit. We got a boss fight. Alright, screw this. Oh, man. Oh! <laughs> Alright, uh, I guess we'll tackle that when we come back. So, thanks for watching, and be sure to come back for part 3 of Let's Play The Battle of Olympus. See ya.